All right, y'all. We got a new one from The Desirable Truth, The Bitter Reality of Modern Dating. This time, we're in Texas, Austin, Texas, to be exact. And uh, let's find out what happens in this video from people on the streets talking about modern dating. How much dating. money do I have to make to date you? Um, more than me. Which is? I can't tell you that, but I make, you know, a pretty good penny. Okay. okay. Hey. So. Yo, get out the camera. Look, look at him, look at him. What is happening right now? So, do you think that when you shake ass in the camera and stuff, like men are gonna look at this and be like, you know, that's a girl who I wanna make my wife? I don't give a fuck. Y'all. Y'all, hey. These be the same women that do exactly what she did, says exactly what she said in response to the question, and then have the audacity to go on Twitter or make a TikTok dogging men because I can't find a good one to hold me down. I wonder why. I wonder why. Like You can't have that energy and then turn around and cry about why you can't find the right kind of guy. You can find guys. You can find guys who are going to just Throw you in the sleep category. They're going to throw you in the recreational use category. But can you find the right guy that will make you a wife, hold you down, support you, love you, respect you? We, we literally witnessed hypocrisy in 4K. You heard me? In 4K. Hey, I don't want these. Man, let me tell you something, baby. I was raised by my father. Fuck you, niggas. I, I date one of you niggas and I keep two in the chamber. So do you... Her father failed her. I, I don't care what you say. Ain't no way a father raises your daughter for her to come out and, and talk like crazy like this, bro. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. At all times. At all times. Fuck you niggas. I don't give a fuck. I'm out. Wife. What you, do you not want to be a wife one day, though? What's the question? What do you ask? What's the question? Do you not? When I shake my ass, I'm about. Well, nigga wanna make her my wife. I don't give a damn. I'm 26 years old. Yeah. She acting, yo, yeah. she acting like this at 26 in four years when she's 30. Your whole mentality changes. I promise you, it's one. Your 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 one of your first big life ment like your mental changes in life. I promise you, y'all. If you're not 30 yet, when you hit 30, it's like the first time your brain shifts gears. I promise you, your brain will shift gears and you start to see things very differently most people right some people maybe not but she in four years bro i bet you that whole attitude changed Talking about, i can't find somebody i need some you know i want to be with somebody so you, i'm in the gay three times baby so, so yeah do you not i left do you not want to be a wife one day though when i'm old when you shake ass i'm saying when you shake your ass like what that in front of the wife? camera when you shake your ass like that Define in front of the camera wife for me Yo, yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Cause I'm a lot of niggas' wife. Okay. But I'm a lot of niggas' type. Do you have a ring? I got, I got a few. I got plenty of rings. Bitch, I forgot to put my I'm other piece of ring on. I'm iced out. Let me put but, the light on that but, shit. But has a man ever? Let me put the ice on that shit. Yeah. What do you look for in a guy right now? Bro, that that was the wildest in opening to any one of his videos I've seen. I don't I don't know how this man continues to do these street interviews without with, with having so much patience and grace. I don't know. I, I, I commend him. I commend him. What do I look for a guy? Yeah, what do you look for in a guy? To be a man. Yeah, literally that. What's a man look like? The women know. So you consider yourself a woman? Yeah, I do. Okay, so tell me what a real man is then. Just be one. You can't, they can't even describe it. This is the part that bothers me with the vast majority of all of these, uh, anything related to dating shows, podcasts, street interviews, is when people are asked to define something or can they explain something, you know, what makes up a man, what makes up whatever. No one can ever in detail explain 
or articulate what that is. How do you know what you want if you can't even clearly state what it is you want, bro? It don't make no sense. Yet, it makes sense why they don't even get what they're looking for because they really don't know what it is they want. They can't, if I'm a firm believer, if you cannot articulate and, and explain in detail what it is you want, you don't know what you want. You really don't. So, if you can tell me what a man is, does that mean I can tell you what a woman is? I want to not what not is physically. Just be a good man. Just treat me like I'm a girl. And how would you want to be treated? Huh? How would you want to be treated? With respect. What else? Loyalty. Okay. These questions are kind of retarded. She can't answer the questions and she got the audacity to say that his questions are retarded. <laughs> Yo. Yo, let me hit, let me hit. I, it's been a while since I hit this button, bro. <laughs> God damn it. You can't make this shit up. <laughs> Why do you, do you think a woman would just say the R word just like that and throw it out? Do you think a woman, a real woman, would use that kind of verbiage? Verbiage? Yeah. Wait, what? Like verbiage? I don't know. I'm so confused right Everybody's now. different. Everybody's They're touching your shit. Like Do you care about a woman's body count? I really don't. Honestly, I don't. Why don't you care? Because, I mean, this is, this is me. Like, I'm next in line. I don't care about a woman's body count. I got a whole lot of body count, so... Being a woman, that doesn't really matter, brother. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I, he, he needs to refine that question. If you ask most guys about that, the truth is, if we keep it a buck, most guys don't care if we're talking about a woman that he just wants to smash, recreational use. Guys don't care. I don't, I don't care what you did before me. I'm in line. I'm going to get mine. I'm going to keep it moving. But if you ask that question with the with the with under the pretext that, this is a woman that you like want a wife. Oh, that whole thing changes, y'all. That whole thing changes. So, so both are true. His response is accurate if we're talking about a guy just going to hook up. You know, guys don't care. It's what it is, what it is, right? It's for fun. Yo. First of all, why, why? I got a warning on TikTok. Your live is flagged for hate speech and hateful behaviors. Repeated violations could result in your live being discontinued. Guys, hey, if you're on TikTok, just come over to Kick, kick.com DJ Moondog Live. I can't bear to stream on this on this platform because I don't I don't think I said anything other than if it was the R word, but I was repeating what was said in here. I wasn't using it in a derogatory way. We just got flagged. Uh, I'm not about to get banned. So if you're on TikTok, y'all, come over to kick, kick.com DJ Moondog Live. I, I can't deal with it, bro. This this platform is so sensitive. You can't even say things without I don't know I don't know if it's automation, uh, bot moderation, or whatever, or someone reported or whatever. But it's crazy. Yeah, kick.com. I'm gonna type it in chat right now for y'all. Kick.com slash DJ Moondog Live. Right there. That's the URL, y'all. It's a streaming platform. Uh, so. Sorry, I got to cut it short if you're on TikTok, but like, I ain't about to play with them, man. That's crazy. Sending me a warning. You know what I'm saying? So come on through, come on through if you're on TikTok. Appreciate the love. Let's uh, end that live. One second, y'all. Cool. Now that we're off, TikTok can suck my dick. I can't stand that fucking platform and how they run shit. All right, we're back. Even if you want to take her seriously, it doesn't really matter, brother, because I got a lot of women that I'm ashamed of. So, you know, I don't really care, man. As long as we start off on a clean slate, I don't care. So what's yours? What's mine? Yeah. I would say over 100. Over 100. Come here, come here. What are you doing? That's 
does him having over a hundred bodies mean? How many bodies is, you got, baby? You got a hundred bodies? No, I never said that. He got a hundred bodies? That's what he just told me. A hundred? I never said that. Get your hand off of me. How old are you guys? <laughs> 22. 40. Yo! That's an age gap. <laughs> <laughs> she has daddy issues. <laughs> Is that really the case? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just fucking with No, nah, I just like, you know, older men. So, what made you attracted to a 40-year-old man? Money. Personality? Money. Yeah. Do you think that's the truth? <laughs> there it is. There it is. The wallet. So, how'd y'all meet? My job. What do you do? I'm a dancer. Oh, oh okay. He's a trick. That's why. Don't do this, guys. Come on, bro. He's paying her an hourly rate. Let's keep it a buck. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he wiped the sweat from his brow. So money had nothing to do with it? No. I saw him before he had money. Did you, I, will, I, will, I will admit to that. She saw me when I, I was hanging out with the first. DJ that was there. I went to him first. So she did come up to me first before she even saw I had money. How old did you think he was? I didn't care. So how do you feel about her being a dancer? I have no problem with that. You know why? Because the simple fact is she, that's what she loves to do. She loves to entertain, and she loves that type of attention. I know she ain't going to go out on, behind my back, so I'm good. So if I went to her club and I wanted to get a lap dance with your woman, that's totally okay in your mind. I literally send dudes to her to get lap dances. What? Bro, what? He don't, okay, okay. The only, the only reasonable way this makes sense is that he don't really care about her. It's strictly for the moment. He's having fun with her. And that's what it is. To say you send men to go to your girl who's a dancer is crazy you know uh, like uh just crazy and you don't think that makes you more of a no i'm not a pimp i'm not a player <laughs> literally the guys i'll sit there she'll come up to me at the like when i go to visit her they come up to me and they're like oh how do you know her i'm like well she's cool as shit you know she's a dancer you know what i'm saying just go go talk to her if you want to talk to her talk to she, like I don't try to be possessive. I'm not trying to be possessive in any way. Because that's, that's the end of the day, I know who she comes home to. Sex but and money think... short term, exactly. That's, it's, it's, it's for fun, it's for the moment. He ain't care too much. He, ain't, he don't see nothing long term with her. That's the only feasible reasoning for him to like send other men to her. Matt, she could just find- Or he's a cuck, one or the other. Find somebody else who's richer, who could do more, who could provide better, and then she'd just use that as a scapegoat. Absolutely not, because he's already had two dudes that have could provide way more than I could provide, and she, she didn't leave me. Their wife. You wait, what? I'm just kidding. <laughs> she said they're white. Oh, look, who's back? Don't you hate that when they just run into the camera? Hey, baby. What's up? Can I say the N-word? No. Nope. You cannot say the N-word. You ain't that cool, nigga. I say it. Nigga, 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 nigga dance here. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, hey, four. Hey, hey, what, what would you rate him on a scale of one to ten? With that big ass cowboy is a zero. Man, well, you got a big ass head too. What? You got a big head? Hey, it do. It's pretty as fuck. Who likes you? Nobody. You, <laughs> are you trying to roast? <laughs> uh, George Lopez, are you trying to roast? Yeah. Felipe, you trying to roast? Yeah. Quick, You're not quick. even in my tax bracket. I got this. Let it go. Exactly. I'm way out of your league. How? Where? Look at me. You shorter than me. I don't mean nothing. You weigh less than me. I don't mean nothing. You're dripping, dripping. I look organic. You got money you make. Don't worry about that. Oh, okay. You're taking the L. My name is Lonnie. For a lot of pussy and a lot of games. Yeah, yeah, we are. Yeah. We know where she's working. She's trying to sell that, bro. It's a fire sale in the streets of Austin. Is she out there trying to sell it? I'm on you, nigga. Nah. Fuck you, me. I'll break your ass off, too, nigga. Why are you trying to fight me now? Fight you. I'll fight you. Nah. I'll get one of these niggas to whoop your ass. 
Why not yourself? Why would I fight a man? You want to be a girls want to be equality. It seems like you got some little. Who broke your heart? My mom. <laughs> I never said that. That's a lot of bodies. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? That's a very, a hundred bodies? I never said that. A hundred bodies? Why is a hundred bodies bad? Why is a hundred bodies bad? That's gross. I like boys and girls and I yeah. don't got a hundred bodies. So, so I where? I like boys and girls and I do not have a hundred bodies. That's a lot. I don't have a hundred bodies. How many bodies you got? Uh, I would say lower than 50. All right, that's not bad. Where'd you get what? bodies from? How many bodies you got? So, How many bodies you got? So you'd have fun with him. How many? Yeah, I would. How many bodies you got? Probably less than you. How you know that? I'm a married woman. What does that mean, though? Yeah, what? Exactly. The whole be, they be, not, 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 not you, not you. <laughs> what is happening? What? These hoes be what? They be playing, like. Thank you. Where's your husband? At home with my kids. Why do you, okay. At home with my kids. So he doesn't care about the fact that you have a girls' no, night? No, he doesn't care. And, that, the, and no. the fact that you were just up on another no, random man? Yeah. He probably would not like that part. It's okay. He gonna see it. This is crazy, bro. He knows what he got, and he knows that I'm a badass. He knows, he, he knows that you're coming home to him. Do a 360. I don't know who these niggas are, but you find as fuck. You might be to a nigga tonight. Oh. 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 Yes, what sir. is happening? Hey, we taking it all, man. We taking it, whatever. I don't care what it is. We taking it, man. What if that was your wife? If that was my wife, I will be very disappointed. <laughs> man, look at her shorts. Look at her fucking spaghetti shots. What the fuck? If you my wife, bitch, you better be home, and you better be getting the dinner ready, and you better be getting Netflix ready, bitch. Can we fit in wide to hear me? At 22 and 40, do you think this relationship would last without sex? Yeah. We, we, we actually haven't had, haven't had sex. we haven't had sex. And how long has it been? Two months. A little over two months. Why are you choosing? She's milking him for every dollar, and he's just going with it, bro. This is ultimate simpery behavior from this guy. What is happening? Y'all already know I don't stand for that simp stuff. A guy that displays that behavior, bro, I can't even really respect you, man. Really can't. That that. A large part of where things are at with, with how women over, broadly speaking here, overvalue themselves is predicated uh, or based on how men have simped so hard and gassed women up that shouldn't have been gassed. And, and it's just become a big cycle right there. You know, guys are so thirsty and so lonely. They see any woman, despite what she looks, and just tell her she's God's gift to this world. And you know, objectively speaking, she's definitely not. You know, if we put her on the put her on the uh, on the rating thing, and then they just get that overinflated sense of ego and, and and beauty and looks, and then they carry themselves a certain way, and then guys turn around to complain about the dating pool. Oh, she's stuck up. She don't. She's a three. She thinks she's a ten. Well, you know what? Guys helped contribute to that. All the simps. Thing to wait. I I'm. I'm a serial monogamous and I like to make sure that I know what I'm getting into before I oh, get into it. And then also on top of that, she ain't given She has her rules. Rules like? I don't want to have sex with a guy for a year after knowing you. So you, bro, she's using that as a way to finesse every dollar. She's like she's, <laughs> you gotta pay me a one year's salary before you get any box. Oh, she, hey, she. I. I, I I respect the hustle. She's got it all mapped out. She got it all mapped out. You're willing, so he has to wait a year before. Yeah. Well, he doesn't have to wait to pay for anything. This is what's crazy. So she says that, but we already know that I don't really have to wait for a year because it's gotten pretty far to where I could have fucking gotten it already. But anyways. Don't do that. No, it has not. Stop playing with me right now. <laughs> don't do that. But why make a man wait a year who's already that's, providing for you, oh, that, even as just, you... That's just like a, a personal thing. After my baby daddy, I just, I'm, nah. I'm going to be real with you. So, like... You're going to be real with him I'm about be, me. I'm going to be real with him about you. So this is the deal. Uh-uh. She's used to... Like, there's dudes that always try to get stuff. And, like, they think that they pay for it and do whatever they fuck, like, um, provide whatever, that they feel like they can have whatever they want from the female. And that's what she's been dealing with. And I told her, I said, you know what, that's not what I'm about. And it's really not. 
I love her. I love her kids. You know, we have fun, everything. You know, how many kids? She has two. I have two. Okay. And it makes sense. The deal is, is like straight up. It makes sense. And I'm not saying that it won't last the fuck. Like that it's gonna last the whole year, and it's not gonna last the whole fucking year. But the truth is, is like I'm more into it about the ending of it, not just the sex part of it. Is it his job to provide things monetarily in the relationship as a man? I don't think we've gotten to that point yet. I don't think that's anybody's The answer is yes. <laughs> no, and I, you know what, to be all, in, in, in real all fairness, I told her that that was my point. That was my job. What's up, I'm old fashioned. I'm old fashioned. Now, if it's your job to do that, what's her job as a woman? Yeah, what's my job? To have fun. Word. Because if she's having nice. fun, I'm having fun. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What do you think is your job? I mean, I thought <laughs> to just be there no matter what. She doesn't do dishes or laundry. Okay, first of all, I like washing laundry. I don't like putting it away. She doesn't like doing dishes or laundry. Yeah, I don't like dishes. So Other wait, you guys live together now? No, no. No, I just know everything there is to know about her. <laughs> I don't think that's true. <laughs> I know for the fact that she loves women. She okay. likes to have fun. Back. She likes to get lit. Word. And she loves to fucking have materialistic things, but she likes to get it on her own. Yo, you know what? Him saying that she likes women, I bet you women don't have to play that one year game that she stuck that she stuck on the guy. You know what I'm saying? Okay, there we That's go. Talk to be nice. Which just means that, you know, it comes out of my pocket and into hers and then she buys it. That's crazy. A wild 